hip cycle start again and we're going to do the second part of this program. The spin is speeding up. X is moving into position. Actually there's two positions. Uh, now Y will move down and then X will move again. And then Y will move again. We'll get over here on this corner and then Z will feed down to the first milling position. And there's two passes to this at different depths. One at different, one at, uh, a little deeper than the other. Right now it's, uh, it's cutting. Y axis is moving in a minus or a plus direction, I'm sorry, towards home. And the little Bosch router uh, makes, it's a one horsepower, it's perfect for a, this size machine. It uh, weighs around two pounds. It's a one-handed router, I mean it's a hand router. Uh, it's a, this one is a fixed 35,000 RPM. Uh, there are no, uh, it, it's not variable speed. And before I forget to mention it, uh, this machine is based on a design from modularcmc.com. Uh, a fellow named Andy is in charge, and they have a website, modularcmc.com. Uh, you can view a machine almost exactly like this. Uh, he also makes a tabletop milling machine, which is uh, very small, but uh, also you can buy plans from him. Uh, he also makes plans for other things. Uh, he's got a control box, which I don't have the plans for it, but I designed my own control box. Uh, I, I plan to mount it right here on the side of this machine and then later take it to my larger machine. The only reason I built this small machine was to build parts for the larger machine. So anyway, uh, there's another website called buildyourcnc.com where uh, Patrick is the fellow's name and he uh, has several machines for sale actually. He, uh, he's evidently been designing for quite a while. He's got several different uh, revisions of his designs and uh, he can sell machines. They're so wooden based. Uh, they're most are chain driven. The larger machines are chain driven. The smaller machines are built driven. Um, he uses uh, B groove bearings on most all of his machines now. But that's another source. And also, the source for the electronics would be uh, CNC for PC. That CNC and the number four. PC.com. That's going back to home. Uh, we're pretty much towards the end of the program. And a lot of people will get on here on, uh, and show their videos about how the machine operates or what they're actually doing with it. And I will later, but right now I wanted to give you the basics of the machine. And like I say, this spoil board will actually come above this end plate. Which, if you're building your own machine, you could actually shorten this end plate and use this 
for a, uh, a lower base uh, actually extend the length of this base uh, on farther out and that way you'd have a basis for running parts through the bridge. This is a fixed bridge. Uh, uh, the uh, Patrick's website, the one I mentioned just a few minutes ago was uh, buildyourcnc.com. Uh, he uses a movable bridge gantry where the gantry moves. This design wastes uh, footprint space because the table can only be half as long, the movable table can only be half as long as the rails are. Uh, where a gantry, the only space you'll lose is the width of the gantry. The gantry is going to move the full length. So this, might, this size machine, if I had a movable gantry, would probably have an envelope on that, so probably 18 inches, maybe 20 inches. Uh, right now it's 24 inches long. You've got a 12-inch table. Uh, but this is much more solid design. Uh, with a, you have to have a good base. It's got to be flat, it's got to be square, and it's got to be uh, very stable. To, or, or you won't have uh, very good squareness. Your geometry will be off. This is much stouter design. Of course, the smaller machine is going to be slightly more, I want to say, uh, accurate than a larger machine anyway because uh, the longer the rails go the more droop you'll have here at your milling point so uh, your angles will be off slightly now we're just talking maybe uh, half of one thousandth of an inch but it, it's possible that uh, the angles could be off and slightly drooping so anyway, that's all I have for this first video. I'm going to make more about this, and you'll see the progression of, of me building this set. But this was the first video on just what is going on with the thing. Thanks for watching.